The Michigan Catholic Conference and Right to Life Michigan are blasting a state bill they say would commercialize surrogacy. There are two primary types of surrogacy. Gestational surrogacy is when the surrogate woman has no genetic connection to the baby. The embryo is created through IVF. Traditional surrogacy is when the surrogate doubles as the egg donor and is the biological mother. Embryos are created via artificial insemination. Right now, non-compensated surrogacy is legal in Michigan, but the state bans paid surrogacy contracts. Violators can be charged with a misdemeanor and face jail time. Catholic social teaching forbids surrogacy, and Pope Francis recently called for surrogacy to be universally prohibited. I deem deplorable the practice of so-called surrogate motherhood, which represents a grave violation of the dignity of the woman and the child. The Pope went on to say human life must be preserved and defended at every moment of its existence. Genevieve Marnin, Legislative Director for Right to Life Michigan, joins us now with what the fight for life on the ground looks like on this issue. Genevieve, thanks for being here. Before we get into the details, tell me why you're personally very opposed to this surrogacy bill and why you're passionate about ensuring that it's not signed into law. Well, as a woman, I am very personally invested in this topic because I don't want women exploited for their wounds and I don't want children commodified. Yeah. So we are working very hard to defeat this nine bill package here in Michigan that would commercialize this industry, surrogacy industry in our state. Mm. And do you think this change to allow women to be paid for surrogacy in Michigan will impact the prevalence of it? Talk to me about about what it will really mean specifically in terms of how much surrogacy happens there. Right, so right now Michigan is more in line with the rest of the world in the sense that we allow uncompensated altruistic surrogacy in our state. With you, with the surrogacy contract, you are gonna commercialize this and mm -hmm. you're going to get the, the fertility industry and third party brokers and we're going to see a lot more of it. But more importantly, almost every one of these has an abortion clause in these contracts. Mm. And of course, excess embryos are thrown away in the process of, of the surrogacy uh, business. Right. Yeah, that's very concerning. Genevieve, talk about the emotional and psychological impacts of surrogacy for the women carrying the child and the parents. Well, there's always almost ex almost exclusively there's a disparity between the income levels of the commissioning parents mm. and the surrogate mother. And unfortunately, it becomes very exploitive because women will often become surrogates for financial reasons. And so you're almost like renting your womb, for lack of a better word. Right. And, and it's very exploitive. Yeah. And what rights, if any, do the parents have over a woman who agrees to be their surrogate? Uh, what is What are these women signing up for? Well, every contract's different, but I have seen some that mandate that you don't dye your hair, that you have to eat certain foods, that you have to avoid certain, certain foods. It's almost like indentured servitude for nine months. And it's really, and any one of those violations could be a breach of contract for which the surrogate is responsible financially and legally. Mm. So it's very tenuous. And I, and I don't think any woman should be put in that position. Right, right. And of course, there's a concern too that same-sex couples can use the surrogacy and egg donation to create children through technology. Can you elaborate on how this would impact those children and society more broadly? Well, this is a very broad nine bill package that would really upend all of our parentage laws in the state of Michigan. It would do away with the terms mother and father on all birth certificates, mm. and it would allow unrelated, unmarried people to contract for a child in common. So donor egg, donor sperm, rented womb, these intended parents may be same sex, maybe they may be opposite sex, but they don't have to even live in the same household to mm -hmm. become intended parents under these uh, these bills. Wow. So they're very dangerous and well beyond surrogacy in that regard. Yeah, yeah, that's troubling. We're really grateful for the work that you're doing on this, Genevieve. Thanks for kind of giving us the down low and uh, we're, we're praying for you and your state. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Of course.